Okay, well, first of all, Joel, um, I know Ruslan and, and John Molina are going to be fighting. Um, seems like a big fight of the year candidate. What, what are your thoughts on the fight? Well, it's a perfect fight. It's a perfect fight for for both fighters because of their style. So, um, there was a lot of um, um, a lot of other opponents that were mentioned for Ruslan uh, a month ago. When uh, his manager called me and asked me, you know, what did I think? Because he would always call me and, and ask me advice about, <laughs> about about his fight. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the one of the fights that was offered to Ruslan at first was um, Miguel Cotto. And I said, yeah, I'll take Miguel Cotto. You know, Miguel Cotto. You know, he's at the end of his career. You know, he never, we never underestimated Miguel Cotto because of his experience. Great fighter. But I just think that uh, at this point of his career, you know, somebody like Ruzan can, you know, can really do something to to Cotto because, you know, he's younger, he's strong, he can take a punch. And uh, lately, lately, um, Miguel Cotto has been, you know, you know, gave some cuts on his face and stuff as well as, Ruzan as well, but I just think youth in this in this fight will be a good a good factor for us. And then uh, later on, you know, there was about they're waiting for an answer from um, from Coro, and that didn't happen. And then they offered uh, they called me and they said, "What do you think about Terence Crawford?" Honestly, I don't like the fight. Terence Crawford, Terence Crawford, that kid is. A great fighter, man. He's back here right now. I don't see anybody in his division uh, that can put up a, a game plan to do him. Honestly, wow. He can switch left. He can. He can. He can switch left. He's lighty. All the confidence. He can use his distance. He can use his. He can use his speed. I mean, he's just uh, a total fight. Honestly, for me right now, Terence Crawford is one of the best fighters in the division. So then. Uh, it was him, and then they mentioned Sammy Vasquez. And I said, you know what? Uh, whatever it is, we'll put up a plan. Whoever the opponent is, whoever the, the fighter will fight, let's put, let's put up, let's, I'll put up a plan. But I know that Terrence Crawford was going to be a very, very complicated plan. But uh, then later on, I said, okay, I think it's going to be John Molina. When they said John Molina, I said, okay, perfect. Why? Because John Molina is a fighter that comes to fight. He likes to crash. He likes to put up the exchange. And we've seen John Molina, you know, Antonio DeMarco dropped him in the first round. Lucas Matisse. I mean, he's been in some wars you know, as well as Luzon has. But I just think that Luzon has the upper hand. Why? Because um, you know, he hasn't been down um, you know, like, like, like John Molina has. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Ruzan's pressure can can really put up a uh, put up a tough a tough fight against against uh, John Molina. John Molina can use his distance, but in a fight like this, he's gonna want to fight because that's his nature. And, and we talk, and we, you know, we talk about that, uh, Joel. With John, I mean, do you just expect an all-out war, or do you expect? Or do you have to put a different game plan together? Or is it just more of who's going to be able to outlast the other guy? For a fight like this, honestly, all I can tell you is John Molina uh, has has longer reach, the tallest, <laughs> and Ruben Provolmica, you know, he comes forward. So if John Molina uses his distance and keeps him outside, he can have problems. That's the reason why you cannot you cannot fight a technical fight against a John Molina. You're gonna have to make a dog fight. You're gonna have to go in there and take a couple punches, but you're gonna have to find a close range. That's that's the fight we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna put up against John Molina. You're gonna have to get in fight. And, uh, get as well as just power. Right? But uh, the uh, a plan. A plan of attack to be on the inside. You know, Joel, this is the second time that you're going to be with Ruslan, and this is a much bigger fight. 
how important is this fight to Ruslan right now in his career, and how important is this fight for you now that you're training him? The fight is important for both of us. For him, it's an important fight because beating John Molina, obviously there's bigger, bigger fights, bigger names in the near future. Mm -hmm. And for and for me, well, you know, it will show my work. Even though I'm not gonna lie to you, there's really not much changes I can make on a fighter like that because he's a made fighter already. I can I can correct, make some corrections, advise him a little different, but try to teach him something different. It's gonna be a little harder mm -hmm. because Ruzan Provodnikov has been to different trainers, three, four different trainers. I don't know, maybe more. But the only thing I focus on Ruzan is just improving him on some of the things that he doesn't do. And that's work the body. And that's very basic. You know, I'm not going to teach you no technical, uh, no technical movement, no don't stand here, don't stand there. None of that. You're standing there for too long, two seconds, two seconds, and none of that goes. You know, I just, I just, I would just want to correct him on the basic stuff that a fighter like Ruth Lani, and that's, don't just go for the head. They work the body as well. Okay, maybe move your head a little more as you're walking forward. Don't be a straight up target, you know, and how to cut the ring, something something that he told me when he came to camp for the first time. He cannot move to his right to cut a ring. So, okay, you don't know how to move to the right, I'll teach you how to move to the right. Simple things like that. Mm -hmm. I don't get too technical. I don't get too technical on him. I just, I just, you know, go and uh, he's a fighter. And once that bell rings, believe me, his, in, his, his instinct is going to do what he does best. He's going there for the kill.